So the second question in regards to using LinkedIn to nurture prospects is um, from Cheryl R., which is what is the best approach to make introductions once you make a connection with someone? So I'm, I'm assuming what she's uh, what Cheryl's or Sherry's asking is um, what's the best way to kind of connect with that person asked after you've connected with them. So um, here's here's an answer that I got for you on this case is. First of all, follow up after connecting. So if you connect with someone, make sure you follow up with them or reach out to them directly right afterwards. And the reason why I say that is because um, I have always done that. Just when someone, when I connect with someone, I say, hey, thank you very much for connecting. Or if someone's reached out to me and connected with me, I say, hey, thanks for connecting with me on LinkedIn. Um, I can tell you right now, 99% of the people that I, I connect with, um, do not send me any kind of message after the fact. Some do, some don't, but very rarely do I see people doing that. So that kind of sets you apart from these uh, these individuals. Now, the other thing you do is um, in that message when I send it out after I've connected, I actually um, send an email message out that looks similar to this. It says, you know, first off, first off, I appreciate you connected on LinkedIn. Secondly, please let me know if there's any way I can help you. And then I go through a whole bunch of things saying, Hey, this is, you know, what I can do. Um, you know, I play in the sales world. Here's my blog. Um, you know, there's lots of great information from these number one best selling authors. Feel free to reach out to me anytime at, uh, at this email address or call me here. Have a great day. The other thing that I do, though, is I, you know, I put my salutations in there in, in, in closing and stuff. I put a PS in there that says, hey, I, you know, I reach out to people on a regular basis so that these connections don't become a one and done. I hope you don't mind. So I set up the, um, uh, you know, I set it up such that they know that I'm going to be reaching out to them on a regular basis and hopefully providing value and stuff. So I've set that precedent that, um, you know, I am going to reach out to him. Here's one that we did for one of my clients. And Alan, um, Alan actually found this online. It's from a guy, a LinkedIn um, author. His name is John Nemo. And uh, I would highly recommend go take a look him up on Amazon and see, uh, look at his books. They're good. He's got some really good information in his books. Um, anyways, um, it's kind of a template that, that this John Nemo put together, but it's like, hi, Hey, I'm happy we connected on LinkedIn. I appreciate it. Curious what your biggest challenges are, needs, so on and so forth. Um, you know, and, and you're setting up the point here where you're saying, hey, look, if I come across something, I can send business your way. By the way, this is kind of what I do. Here's how I help out. Um, you know, it'd be great to see how we might be able to help each other out and then just put that information together. So, you know, there's a couple examples of how you can reach out to people after you connect with them. Uh, to get that conversation going. And once again, I'm going to reiterate is literally about 99% of people on LinkedIn do not reach out to um, the connections that they've made on LinkedIn and try to provide value right out the gate. If you do that, you separate yourself from so many people on LinkedIn and you'd be shocked at um, you know how many people you can get into a phone conversation, what kind of relationships you can build with these people. It's, it's phenomenal. So I highly recommend doing this sort of stuff.